Oh, well, DOG here. Got a 8x10 canvas, uh, pre mixed paints. Got red, purple, yellow, black, white. They're all sax heavy body mixed with Floetrol and water. My Floetrol water mix is two parts Floetrol, one part water. We mix that with one part paint, three parts Floetrol water mix. Um, I just want to see how fast I can do, do something. So, go. Got me some white. Some white in here. And I'm using acrylic pour oil. Ooh, and it's like pouring. Just want a couple, three drops. So oh, that was way too much. Let's go with uh, purple. Purple in this. One or two drops. Some yellow. These pre-mixed paints are pretty cool, but I need to cut holes, bigger holes in my containers. So, let's do it this way. A little bit of red. A few more drops. Yeah, shook none of them. Oh, big chunky piece of black. Some black. Some more white. Purple. more drops keep going to like in on the canvas before anything else gets on there and it's probably gonna have some sort of weird reaction in that spot we'll have to watch that got some purple on there anyway I need some more red in there a little more yellow So, if anybody can see, this is like way too much paint for this canvas by itself. Black. But, there's some white. Couple more drops. Kind of a squirt. And. Let's just do this. Just a little bit of mix. It's going to be really white. But, really, I'm just playing right now. So, and I don't have my monitor thing. That's it for just a minute. Let's go with holes. See what happens. The holes are in it. It didn't jump floating. So a little bit coming out there. Now, if you notice, I did not put anything on the canvas first. I didn't cover it with white or nothing. And I'm not, usually when I pick this up, I pick it up and spin it. I'm just going to try and pull it up. See what happens with 
Vamos pegar. Let's get a little bit of heat in there. That popping out. That's, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's got to be moved. I'm going to lose some stuff, but I got more red than purple. So I'm going to go this way with it. I know I need to get this out of here, but should I put some white around here to help it flow? I guess I should. Pretty big, colorful cells in there. <laughs> Going for speed, and I keep stopped. Back to the center. Kind of like the way that worked out. This is going to be trickier because I don't want to go too far off of that. Oop, it's white in here. It's all going to come get run off there. Ooh, it's white long here. Let's go back this way with it now. Try to go slow, but usually gets the best of me and I just kind of jerk it sometimes. Pull it back, pull it back. Try to save some. Now, the question is, do I go that way with it? I should center it up more. I don't know whether I moved it out of frame or not. Should I go that way or that way? Let me go that way. Yeah, don't do this if you're trying to save paint. I don't save paint much very often. Hope you guys can see that. Don't like tilting away from the camera, but I don't want to lose all that purple. But I need to go. I lost it all. Lost all that purple up there. Dang it. I don't care how, how much you fall over the edges, it, those corners never cover. It's weird. That was pretty quick, I think. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, for as long as it took me, it's way cool.
So I don't know if I answered any questions with that. I just kind of did it. I did notice something. It don't. Well, I got bigger cells from putting the the silicone in the mix of paint rather than the, than in the individual paints. With a bigger canvas, might have been better. Oh. Well, okay. I'm not gonna forget this time. I'll pull you off the stand. Gonna check out some close up, maybe. Hopefully, I can get it without shadow in it. Some pretty cool cells. I really like the red and the purple and the yellow mix. And I always seem to find something. A lot of times, I find a fish. Kind of like that one. I need to dig it. Little effort. Very little effort. Some kind of weird pig looking thing there. Alright guys, that was fun. Dog out.